Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Karina. And I'm Julia. And I review this show three stars. Can you please elaborate why and make uh, suggestions on how we can improve? I'm so sorry. I <laughs> didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> it's just my gut feeling about Drawfee. It's a real three star sort Here's of. Here's my review of your <laughs> intro. Yeah. Great, perfect, wonderful. <laughs> One out of five stars. Oh no. <laughs> my grandma loved it. <laughs> my grandma loved it. My grandchild obsessed with it. One out of five stars. <laughs> So there's a lot of funny product reviews out there, as evidenced by how funny this intro was. <laughs> and, and we're going to talk about some of them today. We had another joint effort from the Patreon and the YouTube comments. Our, our Patreon Discord user, Cass, posted a screenshot of a YouTube comment mm. from at this my username one who said, what if they did a video where they got funny reviews of products and then tried to draw what the review was and guess the product? So that's what we're gonna do. We've collected some <laughs> reviews. We're gonna give them to each other context-free. Yeah. Yep. And we're gonna, we're gonna draw what we think the product is. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm going first. Yep. Julia, you've got a product for me. Oh boy. It's small and easily stored. Just enough for two or three people. Attached is a photo of my dad and mom and myself when we lived in California a very, very long time ago. Parentheses, I am 66 now. <laughs> That's the whole thing? That's the Aww. whole thing. <laughs> so it's it's small, it's easily stored. Uh -huh. It's it's for two or three people. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, here's my family. <laughs> anyway, here's my California. family. <laughs> uh, is the, in the photo, are they utilizing the product? No. It's just like unrelated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you need another product, Jacob? I just, I have a lot to consider, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> just draw a family from when they lived in California. She's 66 now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well. I guess you could say like this is a thing that would have been around 66 years ago and maybe it maybe this person saw this product and was like I remember using this with my mom and dad that was 66 years ago. Anyway, I'm going to upload this photo. when I was zero. <laughs> when I was zero. <laughs> I used it before I was born. So I'm going to start by drawing the family, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, I have a question about the review. Yes. Any star rating? It's five out of five stars. Okay, so it's great. So it's a perfect product. <laughs> All right, so here's a guy. Peacock. Yeah. yeah. I need to go back again. Okay. So the photo is, is from when they lived in California. This person does not specify when that was. They say that they are 66 years old right now. Are they 66 in the photo or is it a photo from their childhood? Well, they say attaches a photo of my dad and mom and myself when we lived in California a very, very long time ago. Okay, so this- <laughs> I am 66 now. So this is the dad. Yeah. From back then. He's, yeah. He's obviously rocking a- A very long time ago. A yeah. very long time ago. Well, excuse you. It's a very, very long time oh, I'm, ago. Oh, my God. Two sorry, berries. sorry, 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 sorry. How dare sorry, you? Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't undermine how long ago this was. <laughs> My God, she put two berries in there. I, like, like I'm a grown adult, but I'll still say when old people <laughs> say a very, very long time ago. That's a lot of time. It is a lot of time. Like when I say a very long time ago, I mean like. 10 years, because I'm young. I mean, a very, very long time ago. That's maybe 12. That's very, very long <laughs> Cause time Because I'm young. Ago. Yeah. But the older you get, the longer time the longer, could possibly longest. be. Yeah. That like time potential stretches. I guess it's like, is there like a, an amount of time that is generally considered for like a long time ago? Is that like more than 15 years? If I were just in my 60s, I would say that a long time ago was at least 20 years. I could get down with that. Yeah, but I'm not in my 60s. I'm young. <laughs> so you don't actually know like when you're in your yeah. 60s. You can I'm feel just totally speculating. Differently. Yeah, yeah, this is all like bullshit basically. Yeah. 
what you're saying. <laughs> I'm trying to like role play, but I don't I don't have the experience to speak from. <laughs> So this is going to be the mom. Yeah. And remember that this 66-year-old woman is in there too. Yeah, but presumably yeah. younger. I love yeah. the death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I always just draw my grandma's hair whenever it's an old woman. And I don't even know if the parents were old at the time this photo was taken. They were probably much younger, actually. Yeah, because it was a long, long time ago. They do look to be in their 20s. In the photo? Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, okay. You know how it's like in old timey photos, the children look like they're so much older because of like world trauma and working in mines? Yeah. Yeah. So like if those children are already looking like they're 40, by the time you're 20, you're looking like you're, yeah, this you're is, 60. This is 20 year olds 50 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. They were like at death's door. I'm gonna buy a house for twenty dollars. That's what the guy in the phone said. All that cocaine bread. <laughs> <laughs> so they're taking this photo that I guess I should say again is unrelated to yeah. the product. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I'm like following, like I'm chasing down, like I have to draw this to get at the truth of this. Yeah, yes. to get to yeah. the heart of it. I have to feel what they felt in that time, in that moment. This is such a funny way to pose with your family. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at my wife. Look at me. Ha cha cha. That was his personality. You know, he's he's a, always been larger than yeah, life character. Real goofball. My my fictional dad. <laughs> me and my fictional dad. I was looking at other items. I was like manually sifting through <laughs> things to like products and reading all of the reviews on the product to try and find like the funniest one. Yeah. I took, it's, there's some people who truly write an essay for a review and I'm like, what I need to know is does this thing work? But you're writing like <laughs> a research paper and I don't need to know. <laughs> I don't want to overthink it sometimes. It just makes me feel worse about the the product. It does. You're filling me with doubt. <laughs> One of my friends fully assigned me a fictional dad. What is, How? What does that mean? There's this photo of an astronaut I've like had for years and I keep around my house and she was fully convinced that it was my dad. And I was like, no, that's an astronaut, unrelated astronaut. But and then I showed her photos of my dad and she's like, that's not your dad. The astronaut's your dad. <laughs> <laughs> so now she refuses to believe any other person is my dad other than that unrelated astronaut. You, you let it slip. She knows the truth. <laughs> she's like, I don't care how many pictures you show me of your dad. That astronaut will always be your dad to me. <laughs> She's going to go into your home and meet your actual parents and, and <laughs> stare your dad straight in the eyes and be like, who is this strange man <laughs> yeah. posing as your father? That's not him. He's not an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to ask him all these questions about space. <laughs> so here's the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 California. Because they're in California where they live. I get yeah. it. And um, the Golden Gate Bridge is there. I'll make it better. I'll make this better later. I don't know what the Golden Gate Bridge looks like off the top of my head, okay? I mean, it's pretty good. It's a bridge and it's like red. It's a red bridge. I know a, that. Yeah, like what more do you need to know, honestly? I just so rarely depict a bridge. I think I knew it was a bridge right away. And then this is like, you know, some water. It goes over the water. <laughs> As far go, as it, I know. It goes over the water, yeah. as bridges sometimes do. <laughs> and there's like some mountains too, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is the picture. This yeah. is the picture. So and what is now the remind product? me about what the product <laughs> It's small. Uh -huh. And easy to store. Good for two to three people. Good for exactly. two to three people. It's small and easily stored. Just enough for two or three people. Oh, it's just enough just enough for two to three people oh my god this looks like a deleted scene from up it's gonna be on the <laughs> fireplace mantle next to the product skew this a little bit good for 
two to three people. So it's something that isn't limited to like the number of people using it. Does that make sense? This is the the author is holding, is looking at the photo, reminiscing. Uh-huh. And the product's just in the background, like kind of fuzzy. Yeah, the product's going to be in the background. <laughs> I think I want this. How do I want this? I want this. This has been one of the most difficult pieces <laughs> conceptually that I've had to grapple you with. You can just make the whole thing bigger and like hint at what the product is behind <laughs> the photograph. <laughs> And this this also contributes to the story of this person's life, oh, right? Okay. The product is a tent. Oh. It, it's easy to store. Okay. Because it folds up. Uh -huh. It's good for two to three people, but she doesn't have two to three people to share it with Whoa. anymore. You know, she's looking back at the photos. Meanwhile, she's out here living in the woods, reminiscing on you know, this past time in her life. It's actually a really tragic story. Whoa. She's remembering the time when she had family and close relations before she moved out into the woods. <laughs> but it's still a five out of five stars product, even though she's sad about Well, it. her own like baggage doesn't have anything to yeah. do with the quality of the tent. <laughs> Fair. Tent's still good. Tent's still That's good. That's my no own matter problem. What. The rest of it. <laughs> yeah, like I'm still work. I'm working on some other things, sure, but the tent, pretty good. Okay, that's not what it is, but I do like no, that's, it. That was a good guess. That's what it is, I think. Yeah. To be fair, there's no way in a million years you could have guessed what the actual product is. I'm very excited to see what it is and how that puts into context. Good enough for two to three people. Yeah, it might put it into context and i'm not sure uh, interesting interesting <laughs> answer because <laughs> i'm just like you can't say that about like a chair <laughs> that's true <laughs> i hope a foldable bench <laughs> and then when i render this there will be like some like tear stains oh no on the photo you're gonna forget <laughs> <laughs> I You're like never cool forget. Rocks. I'm not going to forget this tragic story. But but also what you need to know about the story is that this is the turning point. Oh, this is her oh. low and then from here she's like I need to make a change. Wait, Whoa. you said she lives in the woods? Yeah. She's but she's still leaving product reviews on Amazon. Well, yeah, she has a phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's got She data. has internet access out here? She was living in the woods with no tent and then ordered this tent using her phone. Yeah. <laughs> what did it get delivered to? The woods. A pickup point. <laughs> yeah. Will deliver anywhere. Yeah. Now at least she's got this tent, but she's like, it's not enough. I need I still need that human connection, you know. So she's about to Whoa. get her groove back right after this. Okay. Um, would you like to know what it is? <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, the, the product that this review was on was for a salad spinner. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good for two, two to three what? People? People. Like people's worth of salad? Yeah. Like it can spin two to three people's <laughs> amount of salad? Well, what if I'm hungry? <laughs> I would not have, have known. That paints a very different picture. Yeah. Well, there is like the the last line of the review, which I omitted because it, it there was too much to you know take out. It is great for doing build ahead salads for one person, washing produce, herbs, etc. But earlier she said two or three. But or build ahead for one. Yeah. What? What? What's build ahead? I'm I'm not in the salad fandom. You know, if you're making salad. For like the week, like a week's worth of salad. Oh, or like build several days. ahead. Why did I? I'm stupid. Never mind. But also, <laughs> won't that like wilt? Yeah, it wouldn't be great. You typically yeah. want to eat the salad. Like, like fresh. Why are we building heads? <laughs> heads of lettuce. <laughs> it all makes sense. Uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well, the salad spinner doesn't paint quite the same evocative image is this story I've crafted, so. Yeah. Just change the tent to a salad spinner on the ground. Similar, <laughs> similar uh, narrative. Yeah, yeah, similar vibe. <laughs> well, all right, I'm done. Yay. Good job. Thank I gave you. you very little. Thank you. 
I would love to give one to Karina next. That's me. Okay, so I got a review for you. Oh boy. I tried some other ones that I found in the store. They were okay, but not very hot. When I got these, <laughs> I was expecting them to be warm at best. I was mistaken. These things get hot. No <laughs> joke. Be careful with them. They can actually cause some irritation on your lips because they are so hot. They seem to get hotter as you chew on them, but I still love them. Great product. What? <laughs> and that's a, it's a five star review. My first thought was like hot pants. I like but they really cause irritation shorts. on your lips. Yeah, when you're, you're eating, eating the ass. hot pants. <laughs> <laughs> the pants are too hot. <laughs> wow. So yeah, go go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> you have all the information. Go ahead. I'm so confused by tried other ones at the store. And those were okay, but not very hot. So this person was looking for a level of heat. That was that not. You, you can't get at your local mom and pop shop. Yeah. You got to go to a specialty shop for this. For the kind of heat you're looking for with these. I don't know what I'm looking at. This is a torso I and a love butt. That. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it sure is. Are we going in like the hot, like booty shorts? I'm sorry. It's where my brain went first. I'm disgusting. I know. <laughs> <laughs> follow follow your dreams. Oh, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, there's like plenty of shorts that have stuff like written on the butt that's like pretty, you know, like too hot to handle. <laughs> and oh, and then they're actually too and hot. And then they're actually too hot. Yeah. Here's an idea. Yes. Hot pants that say too hot to handle and... They're made of a compostable material like <laughs> something spicy. What do you mean like something spicy? What? Wait. Like a, like a pepper. They're like made out of a pepper? Yeah. Is that I what you're like saying? I feel like that would irritate your nuts. Yeah, and your butts. Your nuts <laughs> and your butts. I guess whatever skin, mm. but. That's the worst skin to experience. <laughs> <laughs> Direct Irritate contact them, with yeah. hot pepper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But that's the price you pay for having a hot ass. Yeah. Wait, literally, what the fuck was this review? Can you read it again? I tried some other ones that I found in the store. They were okay, but not very hot. When I got these, I was expecting them to be warm at best. I was mistaken. These things get hot. No joke. Be careful with them. They can actually cause some irritation on your lips because they are so hot. They seem to get hotter as you chew on them. But I still love them. Great product. <laughs> So th there was like an expectation of, of them just being warm, but mm -hmm. but they're actually yeah. really hot and get hotter as you chew on them. This pose looks like an old man <laughs> <laughs> with like a hip issue. It's it's my fictional dad. Oh, oh astronaut the dad. the astronaut dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, not my astronaut dad. Not my astronaut dad. <laughs> my astronaut dad is respectable. Unlike this man. His pants are cold at best. <laughs> <laughs> Frigid pants. What are the opposite of hot pants? Um, There's not an opposite. Is it leather pants? Because they're kind of cold. I feel like those would be at least kind of sweaty. Track pants? Those are pretty cool, like breezy, cool pants. Maybe like a linen pant. Those are very breezy. I'm trying to think of something that is both cool, temperature-wise, and... <laughs> Unflattering. Not very attractive. Yeah, unflattering. Right. Cool, cool sexually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A khaki. Ooh. Just like a sort of rumpled khaki. A rumpled khaki. My favorite folklore character. <laughs> You'll never figure out my name. <laughs> Is don't it look at khaki? my pants. Mm. Yeah, don't read the name on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> It does sound like an insult at an old folks home. You rumpled khaki. I don't know if it's just because this is something like I recently was shopping for, but it also makes me think of like heated, heated doodads. Oh, oh yeah. Like a heated blanket. Yeah. Do they make heated hot pants? Probably. It seems dangerous. It does seem dangerous, but a lot of things seem dangerous and they exist. That's true. I've seen <laughs> heated jackets. I've seen heated jackets. Mm -hmm. One thing that like kind of piqued my interest, but I'm too scared of, is a heated mattress pad. Oh. 
That sounds so comfortable, but I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah. I was hesitant to get the girls a, a heated, by girls, I mean the cats, a heated bed mm. because I know those are a fire hazard, but we bought one that turns off when they're not on it. Well, that's good. And also we just don't leave it plugged in when we're not here. And it also doesn't get very hot. It also doesn't get very hot. That's good. Because I recently got a heated blanket, but it's only for your feet because my Ooh. extremities get really cold and it makes me think the entirety of me is really cold. That happens to me. Yeah. I recommend it. I'm literally using it right now. That's why I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I just have it permanently set up under my desk since I'm always freaking here. <laughs> that sounds like a great invention. Yeah. I always get warm at night, so I don't really want any heated products yeah. around me. But when when I am awake and being subjected to being cold, it is a nice thing to have. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe these are heated hot pants. So are they like plugged in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you can only wear them at home near an outlet. Unless you get an extension cable. I don't, what, am I, what am I doing? What does a fucking outlet look like? Am I stupid? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> That's outlet enough for anyone's needs. Yeah. They're different everywhere. No one cares. Now it looks like they're judging him. They're just like, <laughs> yeah, they're like, they're like, looking. <laughs> wowie, like, zowie. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're being used for? Like, do you have any idea what goes into creating electricity for your usage and this is what you spend it on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to think what the outlets would say to me if they knew what I was spending them on. <laughs> if outlets could talk. <laughs> if outlets can talk, they better freaking keep their mouth shut. That's yeah. all I'm saying. <laughs> if they know what's good for them. So we all have this like thing where you attach it on. <laughs> now it looks like a workout pant where it like jiggles your butt. Well, no, no, because then you add like this where it's like, that's the heat. Oh, yeah. It's like heated coils in there. Yeah, that's how these things work. Oh, this product is so much scarier now and to it gets, me for some reason. It gets red hot. Yeah. You sit on those coils. It's what you think you want. Yeah. And then you put it on and someone's like trying to gnaw away at it. And you're like, actually, this was a bad idea. Now your lips are irritated. <laughs> and it's only getting hotter the more you chew on it. And the, yeah. the wires get frayed. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like an ad I would get on a sketchy manga site. <laughs> Look at the bottom. And it says like, oh. Vin Diesel did what? <laughs> <laughs> the one that I get all the time is, it, it always says, and it changes depending on where I am, I've noticed. But it's always like, Julia Stiles living a quiet life in like, big city I'm near. See what she looks like now. I get that all the time. That's weird. Yeah. Why do they want you to know about Julia Stiles so much? Because we have a name in common, so they're like, this must be <laughs> news you uh, find relevant. It's like, I don't care about other people named Jacob. In fact, I want to know less about them. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ooh, you've had to take a bite there, buddy? Oh, it's going to electrocute him. It's a warning. See? Oh, it's like a little oh, yeah. diagram. It's yeah. like, it's don't. Like don't Do not eat yes. electric ass. This is literally what product listings look like half the time now. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's just like images and words. Half the time <laughs> the product is just photoshopped into a stock image. I really like the phrase, it's just images and words. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's life, just images man. and words, girl. <laughs> Everybody needs to calm down. It's just images and words. <laughs> None that's of all this, this is real. Is too. <laughs> I like how you can't tell what expression he's making. Like his mouth is open, <laughs> but we can't see the part that would say if he's smiling or screaming. Jebra, check out my ass. Good taper on this brush. I'm loving it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Not. Uh huh. Just warm. <laughs> <laughs> so don't think that is hot no joke these are hot pants yeah, can you write no joke on there somewhere so people know it's not a joke please please you have to go so slow i'm sorry i have a fast i have a fast 
stroke <laughs> of my pen. <laughs> <laughs> of my pen. Of my pen. <laughs> This is what product images just look like now. I know. Correct. I've seen yeah. it. Yeah, you're right. And I wish I could say you were right about the product itself. Uh-huh. But you are not right. What is it? No way. <laughs> this product is, and it's another one that you couldn't possibly guess, it's hot cinnamon toothpicks. What? Huh? Hot cinnamon Toothpicks. I tasty really thought picks. it was going to be like a, a lip mask or something. Nope. They're hot. toothpicks that are hot cinnamon flavor. So when you chew on them, they taste like cinnamon. Interesting. Why would you chew on them? I guess I never thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? What? I mean, I like to chew on things. I'm basically like a dog sometimes, but not my go to thing. Well, maybe now it will be. It really won't. They're too small. I might choke on them. <laughs> choking, Karina choking hazard. Yeah, I'd rather chew on something like, you know, like a dog toy, like a Kong. <laughs> like a big bone. <laughs> a minty bone. A Put Kong. some treats in that shit. <laughs> yeah. We come over to record and you open the door and Karina's just standing there chewing on a peanut butter filled Kong. <laughs> Honestly, How's it going, though? guys? I would choose that over a cinnamon toothpick. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I think I agree. <laughs> I would also choose this over that, I think. At least to try it out. Sometimes your butt gets cold. Yeah, not anymore. True. Not with this product. Yeah, not anymore. I've fixed the problem. <laughs> no joke. No joke. <laughs> All, All right. right. Julia, you're the last one up. I'm ready. Okay, I got you one. I'll give you the whole review. It, okay. it doesn't give much detail to what the product actually is, but it makes Excellent. me laugh. Three stars. Why does he look like that? He's really stupid looking and small. I think it's great that he's stupid, but it's a little upsetting because of the price. I put him next to the scissors for scale. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just a little stupid guy. He's a little stupid looking. Why does he look like that? He's next to some scissors. Yeah, remember that he's next to some scissors okay. and he's little and he's stupid in a way yeah. that is endearing but also makes you feel like you were ripped off. <laughs> okay, so I need to draw scissors. Yeah, for scale. But we don't know how big the scissors are. I mean, they're scissor sized. But some scissors are like huge novelty scissors. If it's kill, I'll kill. <laughs> some scissors are so big you can fight with them. Yeah. Whoa. Don't lose your way. Some scissors are like little nail scissors. They're small. Well, you can just put more scissors of different varieties for scale if you're going to be like that. <laughs> yeah, to get a really good idea. <laughs> yeah. Here's seven <laughs> pairs of scissors so you can sort of average their size. Please. <laughs> Basically what scissors look like. Yeah. So he's small. Well, he's, he's stupid, endearing. He's really stupid looking and small. I think it's great that he looks stupid. I think it's great that he looks stupid. Yeah. That's how I feel about my cat. Oh my God. Is this about your cat? <laughs> I do think it's great when your cat looks stupid. <laughs> it's a Google Maps review of Olive. Yeah. Google Maps <laughs> review of Olive. <laughs> yeah. <Google> Maps <laughs> yeah. She's a landmark. She's on a Google Maps. <laughs> stupid. Stupid. Small and stupid. I Okay. 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 I have. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> it's a, it's an in internal struggle happening here. Yeah. She's trying to think of how small and stupid she can. <laughs> she can make him. I don't think there's a wrong answer. <laughs> Are, I am you... very excited to see what this answer is, though. That's all. <laughs> She's drawing a freaking tiger and bunny. Yeah. <laughs> Florbus? She's, she's doing Kotetsu from memory. <laughs> Wait, I know he has a hat. I he do have hair. a hat. His hair, his hair go out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. So Julia had to design a, a Kotetsu <laughs> figure, but they didn't give her reference. And yeah. it's very expensive. It, yeah, he's expensive. <laughs> he's kind of stupid. I know he has like, the Jackson Galaxy beard. That is actually spot on. Good for you. 
Thank you. I remember <laughs> it being cats. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> I do appreciate you remembering that I am so Kotetsu brain. This is a review I found on my own, but <laughs> so it is an item I looked up on my own. <laughs> <laughs> this happened organically. Yeah, this is a home sourced review. <laughs> Just make him a little less wall eyed. Are you trying to imply that I didn't organically find my hot toothpicks review? I didn't imply that because I don't know. You don't know. I don't what know I what you're for. looking. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm trying to find the hottest toothpicks. Around. Are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute and stupid looking. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Karina, do you think it's great how stupid looking he is? I do. I like that he's next to scissors. <laughs> For scale. For scale. <laughs> okay, what's his, what's his outfit? I'm trying to remember. He has... Yeah, I'm not going to help you. I want to see you do it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a middle-aged dad. He has a button up. Uh huh. Does he have a vest? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're designing this figure. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, it's not quite right, but I'm still very endeared to it. <laughs> it's not quite right, but it's not quite wrong. This is kind of the same reaction I had when I went to book off and found a Kotetsu figure, but it was put on the wrong characters. It was his head on a different <laughs> character's body. Amazing. How did that even happen? They were just selling it like that. I don't know. I guess they didn't have the body for Kotetsu, but had Keith's body available. And they were like, I guess it's Keith Tetsu now. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's going to know? Is that the same? <laughs> is it the same anime? Yeah, it's it's the sky high guy. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Sky high guy. Sky high guy. <laughs> He's going to wear loafers. He is. <laughs> just it's just standing next to the scissors. <laughs> yeah, I like how he's standing there like just doing my job, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> All in a day's work. He just saved the day and is about to trip and fall directly onto those scissors and like make a big mess. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's guarding the scissors to make sure no one gets hurt around them. I appreciate this read. <laughs> he's like, don't worry, guys. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> These scissors won't be hurting anyone. Narrator. <laughs> He did not got this. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you made him an amiibo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put him in Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> Shows up just like this. He's going to look like this. He's a fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like a me. Me fighter. Kotetsu. <laughs> It's like a bunch of animals and he's like, it's me, the tiger. <laughs> All the tigers turn around. They're like, uh-huh. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to be rude. <laughs> the music skews just a little bit. <laughs> um, this is so silly. <laughs> He looks like he also lives in the woods. <laughs> yeah, maybe he lives in that tent. They finally put Kotetsu in the woods. He's <laughs> <laughs> got, got leaves on him. Yeah, he got sticks in his He hasn't bathed. <laughs> maybe he meets the 66-year-old woman from the first drawing, and they fall in love. They have yeah. salad together. Yeah. And they have salad together. Finally, enough yeah. people to eat the salad. It's beautiful. <laughs> she doesn't have to build ahead the salad. <laughs> build ahead the salad. <laughs> I've never heard that said before, and I was so confused. Build ahead workshop. <laughs> build ahead workshop. <gasps> that would be so fun, though. If you could construct a head. Yeah, and he'd look like this. <laughs> I would build his head and then throw it on the ground so it got covered in dirt. <laughs> <laughs> so, Julia, you're you're hypothesizing that the product is a stinky little Kotetsu. 
Figurine, yeah. Figurine. That is yeah. a great guess. Incorrect, but oh. I love I it's inspired. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like a little dumb gremlin we love. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what the product is. You just guessed the character wrong. Damn. All right. What was it? It is a bootleg plushie of Ochi from Pikmin. Oh, the little dog (laughs) guy. The little dog guy. (laughs) That's right. You did send that to me. Yeah. (laughs) Before recording, I was like, I sent this to Julia a long time ago, but I don't think she remembers. (laughs) I I retain nothing. (laughs) He looks very flattened in the photo, and he is indeed put next to scissors for scale. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> something so, really something dumb. ain't right about him. <laughs> I love that she's in he's in the palm of the hand. Like that's, yeah. this person did not put them down. You can put Kotetsu in someone's hand. <laughs> Crush him. Why does he look like that? <laughs> Even if I got flattened Ochi, I also would never put him down. <laughs> I really like this Ochi. Same. I, it's yeah. so, I'm so endeared to him. Why does he look like that? <laughs> no one can answer that question. I think it's yeah. great that he looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I do love him. And I love this Kotetsu. This is <laughs> his outfit is not quite right. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, I want to look up what his actual outfit looks he like. He has like Ace Attorney fit. He he kind of has a oh. similar outfit to Godot. Like you were oh. correct in that button up and vest. Just <laughs> I gave him Woody from Toy Story. Yeah, you you really just like took him and like threw him on the ground, and I love that. <laughs> He's wearing Marty McFly's exact outfit. <laughs> Back to the Future. Yeah. Oh right. Oh, he does have a tie. You know, I thought he had a tie, and I was like, nah, that's just me. Because every time I remember any character, I'm like, tie. <laughs> Did they have a tie? Surely they must. He lost the tie after wandering around the woods for so long. Yeah. He lost it. He had to use it. Yeah. For survival. Well, hey, these are <laughs> these are three great products, I think. Yeah. That we've come up with here. I, I invented a tent. Mm-hmm. And then we got Karina's plug in hot pants. Yeah, fire hazard. I invented fire, fire hazard. hazard. Yeah. And, and Julia's stinky little kotetsu. <laughs> Julia invented yet another thing that if I like saw it at book off. I would buy it. Yeah, I do want this figure. <laughs> yeah, the stinky Kotetsu. I should just get, I, I bet Keith Tetsu is still at Book Off. I should just like get that and then throw it in the in my garden and yeah, leave it out like there all winter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then he's going to look like this, honestly. He comes out looking just <laughs> like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then put him next to my scissors. Yeah, if you're a, a product maker out there, feel free to make any of these products uh, and and then you can sell them. Make a million dollars. Yeah, but we are not responsible these. for any um, flaws in the design. Whatever. That's your yeah. fault. That's on you. Yeah. yeah. But I have heard tell that if you like and subscribe on this video, you will make a million dollars. Whoa. In the future. Whoa. At some point. We promise. We promise, eventually, over time, over yes. a long period of time. Yes. Of consistent work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you will make a million dollars. And if you subscribe to our Patreon, mm-hmm. then you'll make $2 million. <laughs> over time. Whoa. Over time. Okay. Eventually. An unknown amount of time. Yeah. Assuming you don't die, <laughs> you'll eventually make $2 million. For sure. Guaranteed. And um, you can also watch us on Twitch. That's going to hamper your earnings a little bit. Makes it a little harder to earn money. <laughs> but the money you earn is, is uh, you know, you really appreciate that. And the money you earn could go towards not knockoff merchandise, but legit merchandise at our DFTBA merch store. Yeah. So no true. No joke. No joke. Joke. And if you're wearing our merch, someone will walk up and hand you one million dollars in a bag. Eventually, an unknown amount and an unknown period <laughs> of time, and in an amount of time in the future, guaranteed. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Asterisk. Thanks for watching. We're sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>